Hey guys, it's Sony WR. Today we're going to show you how to make this really large kitchen towel into four small towelettes. Now these towelettes are really awesome because you use these for cleaning and washing dishes and stuff like that. And it makes pretty good use. And I like the fact that it's good fabric. Now we're using the Brother CS7000i. It is a really small compact sewing machine, which is really cool. Now, why we're we keeping these towels is because we love how the herringbone design is so nice and also it absorbs a lot of water and it's good for polishing and it's also lint free, which is really cool. So it's also very easy. You just throw all these things into the washing machine and it washes and you can just dry it. So to start off, we're cutting this into four sections. This is a 14 by 25 inch uh, towel and we're cutting it into four sections. And what we're gonna do is go put an edge on it like this one. This is a finished one that we put an edge on each side. Of course, we have the Singer Heavy Duty sewing machine that's meant for like jeans and stuff that we use it for jeans. But today we don't really need to, even though this, um, this uh, kitchen towel is actually pretty thick, the CS7000i from uh, Brother actually does a really good job because it has a special foot that's called the J foot and it can actually accommodate for much larger fabric and thicker fabric, which I thought was really awesome. So. Normally for our delicate uh, sewing machine work, we actually use the Brother CS7000i because of the designs and other, th other stuff like that. So after we cut it off, let's go ahead and start. After we cut it into four pieces, we're cutting off one of the edges because it's really too thick. So that way when we fold it, it will be hidden and it won't be like a really large bulge and stuff. So we're gonna double fold this so that it hides the edge. And when we sew it, it'll have a nice um, sturdy edge on each side. So. Of course, we only have to do like one or two edges a piece, which makes it very simple because the other edges are already pre-sewn, but we will finish that as well. Now using that J foot and the Brother uh, CS7000, what we're doing is that we're actually going, um, putting it behind it first. We're actually starting about roughly a centimeter or two after that big bulge. So, and we'll go back and follow up. We're going, have, we're going and folding the rest of this and keeping it nice and taut. And we'll go ahead and start. So. We're we'll gonna go ahead and start and do it. Just going one round. The first round is to hold it. Of course, you can see that the other side is still unfolded and we're just making sure we keep it nice and folded on the way so we just guide it through. So moving along, it's really quick. This is probably, if I take after to show you, this takes longer to show than actually to do. We'll go ahead and roll the bottom part, which is also uh, needs to be hemmed as well. So hemming this side, we'll go nice and slow and hem that part and just hold it. We're gonna do a quick swivel and turn and we'll go back the other way to basically give it another line of thread. So this second hem will pretty much hold it for, you know, is pretty much gonna hold it. So this is pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and keep that folded and just keep it nice and straight. We're cutting off some of the extra uh, thread so it doesn't get caught anywhere. Just holding it nice and steady and we'll pull it through the other end. So nice and slow, it slowly goes over it which is nice. Now this is really thick. You know that it's like uh, almost double folded right now, but it's the, with the feet and the thing, it still goes out for, goes through this very well and sews it very well as well. So we'll go ahead and put another quick sew on top of the thick one and you can do it nice and slow now that it's already sewn down. So very, very useful, very use, useful foot as well. And like I said, you know, this is really, really cool. Now we have a double stitch on there, which is really nice. And of course that little button actually lifts it up higher. So you can actually put more stuff. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish that second seam or second hem. And we're gonna do this exact same thing. We're gonna start it off this little and we'll do a little bit of reversing so that, you know, it holds that position. That's why we like about the brother as well. It does have a reverse button and it's very, it's all computerized, which is really cool. Now we go nice and slow for the edge and we are pretty much done. So let's swing it around and go one more time. And we're just following that the edge right there. Anyways, that's really about it. Let's go ahead and cut this. It's done. Awesome J foot. It basically accommodates for a lot thicker um, fabric like this. And it's pretty cool. Now, all the, it's the settings are already there. There's other feet like the R and the other foot. There's a chemo of like a whole bunch of feet that come with the brother. And that's what we really love about the brother uh, package. It actually has a lot of stuff that comes with it. So. Plenty of designs, it's all computerized, you just to tap it. And now we have our towelette. This is good for polishing glasses and other stuff because that the fabric is really good. Anyways, this is a Zapoli kitchen towel. We like these towels because we actually have, have a whole bunch of them and they're all good size. You can use it for placemats and everything else like that. Anyways guys, this is Tony I hope this tips and tricks was helpful to you and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.